time. So the Swede is happy to be in Scotland and playing well. Yeah, nicely placed at three under par, but out on another opportunity at her final hole for Madeleine Sagstrom. And makes a three to shoot 66. Key to her game today is her approach play. She have to use a pick on you because, you know, you do never know. I believe that she is in and so is Anna Norquist, but it's always nice to get the automatic spot. That's a nicely weighted putt for Charlie Hart, used for a large sea bay. So it's like the Clyde Bay, basically. On a translation. Here is last year's winner. Yaka food away now reachable par five she's hit this into downwind with a three wood that is how they're very deep and penal world number four now Celine Boutier the only French player male or female that's ever been in the world's top ten and the dream major for her wasn't it last week right here yeah she's trying to draw one in and use the wind Bit like that. Exactly like that. Herself so much confidence. How hard is it going to be for Boutier to just maintain this level of form here and then going in next six weeks? And like I said, the likes of Gemma Driver, this will be a major for her. Scottish Open. This is the bonkers pin position I was talking about on five. Missed the cut here last year, did Lynn Grant. What a shot into five by Foodaway. That is for Eagle. Three wood into the heart of the green. And look at that. I mean, that when you're playing early, you can make a, a lower number than that. This one here, 19 yards. I'm trying to check. It's well played there. Looks to be three cups, so needs to pull this one in the right edge. In greeting Evian champion. But eight with Unhiji. Oh. 360. Today for Leanne Pace, but outside look here. Headwall for her birdie finish. Oh, oh yes. Cool. That's a sweet finish for Caroline. I've been chipping Cole. That's by the left hand side of the tenth fairway. Charlie Hole's wrapped up for this birdie putt at eight. LPGA, but she's got hat sponsors. She she's looking like the pro golfer that she actually is now. And this has got a chance. Oh, Here you go. Oh. From did that and sometimes you just got to say well, well done you know winning by six we haven't seen that since Lydia Ko well, in a major eight years ago I think that was yeah Lindgren really only just starting out though on the LPGA tour she wasn't in America until Pace is short of that. Oh, nearly. It's way back from right to left at the end. And she keeps rolling. Layouts. Food away with plenty of club in here to eight. Oh. How good is she with that three wood? Driver with a lot to live up to here. Swinging it well, though. <laughs> Just as good, maybe better. Back into gusty 30 mile an hour. Whereas nine's playing downhill, uh, downwind rather. I 
really powers one down there over Seawood for Boutier on 10. Just suits her draw down to the ground this hole. Yeah, she's shown she can uh, tackle links and weather. I think she'll find that one on the left. Driver for her birdie. Needs hitting. Hustle. Wow. It's there. Last week I was walking the course with her. She had Nick Soto. <laughs> Maybe even... <laughs> I was going to say... Got to play it further right than you think on 11. Anything turning left of the flag will miss the green. That's how you do it. Yeah. That's the mentality that she, she needs to have. Trying to ease across it from left to right. So you do it contending this year. I, th I think, I think sh she'll believe the same. Um, the way she has, oh, beautiful shot by Alison Lee. Just constructed her career. My game. She could have easily have missed that one left. Birdie put for food away on nine. So she's to two under par. She's gone today. Suzanne was here with her husband. Loves coming to uh, Scotland, where she she played her final putt, didn't she? Uh, Competitively at Glen Eagles, what a putt it was. What a putt this could all oh, be for Booty. Like she says, she needs to get some form. Birdie put for a bounce back for Charlie Hall on 11. Plenty of green to work with. Back into the hill and win, so needs to give this one a thump. Nicely done, wasn't it? Yes, he's good at putting it into perspective and not letting his players. That's a good birdie for. Great bounce back. There. He doesn't let his players be princesses. I, I like that about Shane. He's, he's, he's a lovely man, but he's straight talking when he needs to be. Oh, on a similar kind of line to the part that Celine Boutier just had. And she learns. That's a super effort from the English player. Definitely when I was about. 13. Western Gales in the distance there, down the railway line. 13th hole, wind from left to right, booty eight. Horrible front nine. Oh. Fantastic. The uh, Solheim Cup standings. Trying to get herself into Stacey Lewis's team. Impressive performance from Gabby Lopez in uh, Evian. Well, she's a player that's trending nicely. Couple of top tens in a row. Yeah, she's, it's a long way back from that six over part. 42 front nine. This year. Got that one. Interesting looking at grip as well. Coach, I'm working on putter and now it's working in tournaments. That's so important for a player to see. Minji Lee, nicely judged. So, yeah, what I was going to say is this week or Messi. <laughs> Mind a pound each time. Yeah. Every player on the driving range is coming up to her as she walked to the practice tees to play. And oh, it's the feeling that you want. You to this uh, hole. Firth and Clyde in the distance. Player going well out of the course is Sarah Kemp, couple under par, the Australian. This is her third into the 18th. Yeah, her ninth hole of the day. Started off at 10 and it's a chance to go out in 33. So this to turn in three under for Sarah Kemp.
Yeah. That's a terrific nine holes day for the uh, the men's senior open. This one slightly from left to right, take it a cup outside. But for birdie on the twelfth. When it gets this windy, players aren't hitting it as close. Another confident swing from... Uh... Oh, no bounce back. So birdied 17 is three under at the moment. Tyre Titikin more problems. Done it really well. It's a good option. Putter for driver. What a shot! Get what him. a shot! Well, that would have been extraordinary. <laughs> yeah, fooled by the graphic. She's having a good season, actually, Jenny. Yeah, yeah. She's putting herself into contention. Just watch this one from NASA, see if she can find the green. Yeah, good shot. I bet Gemma Driver's played Walton Heath. She only lives an hour and a half away from there. Third shot into 14. And finds the... It was a pro last week in Evian, missed the cut. They finished fourth at the US Women's Open. Oh, she's going well here. I think her aunt deep down in the bunker at 15. Beautifully done. Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Even Mikey Curry, our caddy, enjoyed that one. You're pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> well, yeah. That's going to come up shy. Is it? Is it? Oof. Got a little closer than I thought from driver of that. Laid up perfectly here. 130 front, 140 flag on 16. Watch the pose as well, like she liked that. Oh, did she? Mark it down for a three. I'm giving it to her. Let's catch up again with Charlie Hull, 16. 139 for Hull, second. Oh, nearly slam dunked it. There's Bailey Tardy here. This is her birdie look. At 18 to get to four under. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd give it to that one. It went in. My favourite for next week. Oh. OK. Yeah, apologies now, Nelly. Second to 16 for Hataoka. This will have a look. This will have a look. Extraordinary shot for Gemma Driver because you you described it brilliantly, the difficulty of this. I didn't know if she could get it high enough and it, it just creeped over the top and then ran in like a pot. And How did she get it to come out so softly, though, at that speed? Up oh, out the green. This is for Birdie to get back to level par. It's the same as what happened to Charlie Hull. Drags it right. One of those who's been going okay out there is uh, Ali Ewing. Yeah, 
out in 33, so three under par. Played a couple of Solheim Cups now. Yeah. And another one for the year's most recent major champion, Boutier. Sissigan second to the 16th. Has to keep this one from left to right and keep the pace up on it. Just a few other scores worth mentioning. Mel Reed had a 71. On the back of 17, Lynn Grant here for birdie. Gets herself to under par. Still got the best part of 180. Straight downwind. Keep this one right off the hole. Excellent from Celine Boutier. <laughs> Allison Lee at 18. Left to right. Comes back right. Oh, double oh. breaker. That's two double breakers we've seen in a row on 17 and 18. So subtle on these last couple of greens. She played like a major champion. Which in the last few days she has become. Celine Boutier with an excellent round. She can use the ball marker playing partner year on year you never see a put hold on 18 wiggles all over the place this yeah. green uh, good perform this is for her first birdie of the back night Big day 90 yards for her She did birdie 17. Oh, that left to the entertaining Angel Yin at 16 here. To fly the ball in the air is not what you want to do when it's a three club wind. Those two aspects don't match together. Nice for a four. to finish two birdies in the row for the type rookie of the year on the LPGA last year currently at one over par Pedersen I like it back on the tee 